Today, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own delicious garlic honey red wine vinaigrette salad dressing. We are having an autumn fall salad for dinner tonight, and this just sounds like a really good kind of hearty and warming dressing to go and pair with it. And I'm on a mission to help you stop buying all of those chemically infused and preservative laden salad dressings that are just all over the grocery store shelves. You can totally make these at home. I have a whole playlist on different dressings. You can click above or below and find that playlist and start learning how to make your own dressings. Today, so easy, just like the others. I'm Amanda, this is The Happy Homestead. Let's get to chopping. So all I'm gonna be using is some organic red wine vinegar. This is fermented garlic honey. I have a whole video on how to make this. And if you don't have this in your pantry, no fret, just start making some today because you're going to want it. If you don't have it, you're just gonna wanna use local raw honey and have some fresh garlic cloves. Dijon mustard, pepper, salt. I do have one shallot and then dried thyme. I'm gonna be doing all of this by hand to really show you how easy it is. I'm just gonna be putting it in a glass jar. This is an old uh, peanut butter jar. I save glass jars because they always come in handy, but you can store your dressing in whatever works for you. I have one very small shallot. I am just gonna start mincing that. I'm gonna take a couple of garlic cloves out of the fermented honey. And again, if you don't have this on hand, that is okay, but you're gonna wanna start it because it is so good for you and so full of medicinal properties, both the honey and the fermented garlic. So I'm just gonna be mincing my garlic as best as I can. Okay, that's the most difficult part. Now we just add everything else in. I also went and got my olive oil because I forgot we're gonna need that too. So right now in the jar, I just have one minced small shallot as well as a couple of cloves of the fermented garlic that have also been cut as finely as I can get them. I'm now gonna start adding everything else. I'm gonna start with my Dijon mustard and do about one tablespoon. I am not a big fan of, um, precise measurements when it comes to salad dressings. I just kind of do what feels right. This is organic red wine vinegar. I'm probably doing about a cup, maybe a little bit less than a cup, maybe about two thirds of a cup of that. We're gonna add in some of our honey. drizzle in some olive oil. Now I always do more vinegar than I do oil. That's just my preference. I don't like my salad dressings to be very oily. I'm gonna add a pinch of Redmond Real Salt, freshly ground black pepper. And a pinch of dried thyme. Put the lid on, shake it up. Voila, <laughs> that's it. And there's our salad dressing. I am going to taste it. Make sure it's good. Very good. So delicious, so easy, and so much better for you than anything in the store. Store it in the refrigerator if you wanna keep it for a lot longer. But really when I'm making my dressings, I'm making them on a much smaller scale so that it's only lasting maybe a couple of meals and then I make new on demand as needed. I will see you next time. Stay healthy, stay well. Bye-bye.